Hello and welcome to today's video. Today we're here and we are playing Wreckfest. It's been a while since we played Wreckfest or any Xbox game here on the channel, but uh, I wanted to jump into it. I haven't played this game myself in quite a while, probably since our last video or close to it. Um, I mean, I only have two games in the Xbox, so I don't really like play it much, it kind of just like chills in the living room, so, um, wow, I really missed that launch pad, um, alright, so let's see what we can do here, let's not get into a big crash right away, that'd be, that'd be swag, oh, that dude really slammed into us, okay, see, I'll run the bottom here, because everybody's going to pile up to the top, and that can really gain you some some distance here for sure. All right, so we're working on second place right now. See, I ran a good line, but that dude um, really boxed me, and I kind of wanted to run the more proper line of run the bottom, run the wall. Um, but that dude definitely boxed me and caused a little bit of a crash there. Didn't damage our car too badly. There are a lot of bits here. There's a car entirely on that track now. Can't really just keep running that same line. Oh, there goes the leader. Making a pass on a lap car. Big crash there. That's going to take him a little bit to recover from. And we're heading on to the last lap. All right, here we go. Here we go. We're going to do it. We're going to get this one. Watch that car, though. That was close. That was close. All right. Here we go. Going to come across the line. We're going to take that dub here. That was a good one. That was a solid race. Um... I mean, we really only had one issue uh, in that race. We kind of got stuck up there on the high side for a second. Uh, but for the most part, not too bad. Now, this is a good track right here. This one's difficult with the car that I have. But this car uh, equals in top speed and in damage resistance durability whatever you want to call it so I do kind of just go with it <sighs> start again um, so I I go with it on that um, oh my god um, it definitely doesn't have like the best turning here or acceleration as some cars but, you know, it's something that we kind of make work on this track. Because, again, a lot of these cars will just all crash themselves out. So, it's kind of a waiting game here. I mean, look at these dudes. They're taking each other out. Brilliant. It's going to take us to the end of the first lap. And they both go hard into the wall. And we're in seven, so I'll take it. It's not the worst place to be after the first lap on a Wreckfest race, especially this track. Um, all right. Can we get to the inside here on this car? I think we can. Or just go full contact, because who cares? 
I can finally do a video and push someone up the way at the finish and I don't want to be like, ooh, you crushed him. Yeah, no shit. Like, people, people comment that on GTA racing. Push somebody across the line so you crash them. Okay, dude. I had one that uh, one and I were racing, and I slightly pushed him out of the way at the finish. Like that's that's what you do. That's how racing works, my guy. Basically, racing that isn't um, open wheel racing, you push people out the way. There's contact involved. Like anything that's on tracks that aren't those style of cars that really can't push people out the way, there will be contact. Racing's a sport of contact. Um, so, you know, to comment that is a bit cringe. But in this, I can just drive through somebody and nobody's going to say anything at all. So there you go. Up another spot. We're up to fifth. Um... The cars in front definitely did get away a little bit. Um, but, you know, we're, we're working on getting back to them. But this van's going to be in our way significantly. Thought I was going to send it in there on him. Did not. All right. Who is up next? Get the power back down quickly. All right, there we go. Well, I was close to that inside wall. That was risky. That was definitely a risk factor moment for sure. This is the final lap. This car in front of me um, is one that I can pass for position. Um, that blue one up here. Had to send it for that spot. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, man. That was good. That was good. He was getting that corner. No breaks. Uh, brilliant. Brilliant play. All right. Going to hold this shit down and go. I forgot this game. It's so different. Every game has some different get the boost method. This game, you just got to be on the gas right away. Or holding it down. GTA, you gotta time it. Uh, Mario Kart, you gotta time it. At different times, though. So that's fun. I don't think there's a boost. I think it's just. In this, it's just going when the game says that you can go. Alright, fly over some of these bumps here. This track is a good one. It's a little bit difficult here and there, and it also has a deadly intersection. So as we get towards lap, you know, two or three, cars start to either fall back, take damage, anything like that. This intersection, and you know, already we had a car at the intersection. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. That was a while. Those are just the cars that were battling for the lead that crashed there. Uh, one of them missed the jump. That was the issue. One of them missed the jump. Um, and then flipped going down the hill. I hit him slightly. Only did cosmetic damage to my car. Uh, the angle that I hit that at, that could have caused more damage for sure. Uh, but fortunately... 
is only cosmetic as you see there on the front of that, that little bit of damage on the car. Nothing too major. Already coming down the hill, we're going to pass a car that somehow is still going. Please don't take me out like that, fam. That's not it, Chief. We got a car at the intersection. We're going to have a crash. Yes, but we do make it through. We dodge it this time. But we're already seeing more cars at the intersection. So, uh, again, cars that have taken some damage will tend to be there because they're going to be driving slower. Uh, oh, there's two intersections. I forgot that there's two on this track. Actually, three. That's another intersection. So, yeah, there's a significant amount of intersections on this track that can cause damage and chaos for you. So even if you're, you know, making it through here, there's another one. I think there's four points where the track crosses over in total. Um, so, yeah, I mean, you can be going through like we are here, minding our own business, you know, 2.8 seconds ahead. Now we're at 3 points. Oh, that guy had to have a crash in uh, the position there. Gain some time though through there. Maybe we're just better on the straights. Um, so yeah, you know we're about four seconds ahead currently, but again, anything can happen with that. Um, you know, I mean, looking at that. Ooh, that was close. Like that's the thing. You get hit in one of these spots, and you know your race could be significantly altered uh, with how the damage goes on these cars. I'm just trying to stay in my position here, stay in my lane. keep doing my thing we still got a few laps to go here so I don't want to be taking any unnecessary damage of course your car does tend to take a little bit of damage from each landing here uh, just at least cosmetically so and you can see we're taking a little bit of damage I mean we did get hit by uh, again the first lap with that flipping car I think that did a little bit of damage but outside of that we haven't really had any contact. We've kind of just driven through debris. Um, yeah, that jump does some damage. It's got to be having some sort of impact on this car. There's no way that it isn't. Go down this hill. Avoid the car smoking there. This is, this is beautiful. Just get right to that inside. Just kind of drift through there. I mean, at this point, we just got to kind of maintain our position here. Again, avoid any wreck. We are 10 seconds ahead of the next car. So. Oh. Oh. That was our first big impact, but we did also take that van out. Um, yeah, that was, that was a big hit. Uh, that van like really came out of nowhere honestly and we're gonna see that van up here uh, in the crash out section um, maybe maybe that van wasn't the one that crashed out but <laughs> that was that was some damage um, I definitely came close to hitting that wall and I had to uh, back out for a second, and that caused the incident with that van to just arise when it did. Um, you know, we're definitely, we lost a little bit of time. Oh my god. We drifted way out into that field that time, for sure. Um, a little bit difficult of a corner to get through. All right, we made it onto the straights. Here we go, cross the line, and we will win it. A little bit of a tricky race there uh, to kind of manage our way through. 
for a while, but once again, we secured the dub. So that is that. Thank you for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you guys in the next one.